Now to that breaking news overnight. Two officers shot in San Diego, one of them killed. The other recovering in the hospital right now. A suspect is in custody and officers across the country on alert after the recent shootings. ABC's Philip Mena has the latest. A massive manhunt underway this morning after a San Diego police officer killed and another critically injured overnight. Yeah, we have two officers down. The shooting took place at 11 p.m. as the officers made a routine stop. Right, the officers are working on getting the down victims out of here. The shot is definitely a handgun. SWAT teams and helicopters rushed to the scene. The suspect is going to be close by. We need responding officers to lock down a perimeter and able to start looking for somebody hiding. One suspect taken into custody. Other possible suspects being sought as residents are urged to stay in their homes. The shooting comes as police on high alert throughout the country following the killing of officers in Dallas and Baton Rouge. We've learned the officer who was killed was a father of two. The other officer is out of surgery and is expected to survive. This morning, a massive search underway for a possible second suspect. George. Okay, Phil, thanks very much. Another flash. One San Diego police officer is dead and another is in the hospital, but he is expected to survive following surgery earlier this morning. The two officers were shot during a traffic stop late last night. CNN's Paul Verkamen is covering this live for us in Los Angeles. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. Let me try to give you the timeline on this according to the San Diego police chief. That's Shelley Zimmerman. Carol, they say that these two officers were responding at about 11 o'clock last night and all of a sudden, they uh, make the stop and they must have known something was up immediately because they requested emergency cover. Then the other officers come to the scene and they find these two officers have both been shot in the torso. One of those police officers puts the most uh, more seriously shot of the two officers in his vehicle, races him to the hospital, but that officer dies. As you pointed out, the second officer, the police chief tweeting out not long ago that that officer is expected to survive, exclamation point. There is one suspect in custody. They found him in an open area or a ravine not too far from there. They're not so sure if there is a second shooter or suspect involved. Very emotional moments today, this morning in San Diego. The police chief, you could see that she was visibly shaken, swallowing hard, and she described what it was like to have to go and knock on the fallen officer's family's door. It's a wife and two children who survived his shooting. Let's listen. There, there's nothing that prepares you to do that. It is extremely difficult. Um, you can imagine early in the morning when a chief knocks on the door of a family member. And the suspect again described as a Hispanic male adult. They will have a press conference a little later this morning, Carol, to tell us more about this shooting. Both these officers, by the way, were part of a gang suppression unit, and the chief stopped short of calling this any sort of ambush for now, at least, Carol. All right, Paul Verkamen reporting live for us this morning. Thank you. Still to come in the newsroom. Developing news this noon, two officers were shot during a traffic stop in San Diego and it turned deadly. Right now, police are zeroing in on a home where a potential suspect may be holed up. One of the officers identified as Jonathan de Guzman died. The other officer, Wade Irwin, is in the hospital right now. He underwent surgery this morning. In the past 60 minutes, we learned he is expected to survive. He is still in serious condition. But we are grateful to say he's expected to survive the attempt on his life. Police say they have one suspect in custody. He's in critical condition right now. They're looking for other suspects, but we don't know exactly how many.